What's up guys, my name is Kit Dale. I'm a two-time World Pro Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Champion and Black Belt. And today I have a really fun video for you because we are going to test out the better way of training. Now, lately there's been a lot of buzz about task-based games for developing in Jiu-Jitsu. And for a long time, I mean 10, 15, 10, 12 years ago when I first started teaching Jiu-Jitsu, I was telling people how good it is to learn without drilling techniques. And I got a lot of hate. Recently there's been a lot of light shine on how effective play style games is for developing. So today we've got two twins that have no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu experience, but they're very athletic to use. I'm going to teach one of them a technique and have him drill it over and over again. And I'm going to throw the other one in deep water. I'm gonna give him a game and give him very little instruction to see how he figures out to solve the problems. So that way we get to see which one learns faster through the method of drilling or task-based games. Okay, so I have the two twin brothers here that haven't done jiu-jitsu before. They've done a lot of boxing, they're coaches in unboxing and they're doing online coaching as well. So my name is Irian Kolev, everybody call me Ochi. I'm an eight-time national champion in boxing of Bulgaria. I have over 120 amateur fights. And this is my brother Yanni. And I'm Yanni. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm Yanis, but everybody call me Yanni. Uh, been doing boxing for since we were six years old, now we're 26. And um, this has always been our sport. We love it to death. Yanni is going to learn technically through Riley. We're going to change it up and then I'm going to teach the games and then we're going to put them against each other. All right. So I'm going to go and have you hop to your butt. Just to get down. So in Jiu Jitsu, oh, one of the, yeah, just on our butt for now. Uh, so we'll set up. We're going to two version, do two versions of a pass from open guard. This is open guard basically just means that uh, we don't have a connection. Uh, if I was inside of your guard and the legs were around me, that would be close guard. Yeah. Um, what uh, can happen here uh, is that you can have somebody you can see. If you are, I'm going to have you put your feet just like this. So we're going to be a little bit more uh, active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And we've got a good lean forward, which is great. That's exactly what we want. The first thing we're going to look at doing is passing from when our partner is on their back. But more than likely, he's going to start seated. So the way, simple way that we're going to look to get him to his back is going to come behind with his uh, now we're here, I can start to pass. I'm going to look to make a switch depending on which side I'm passing to. If I'm passing to this side, which is more common for me and people who are left handed, uh, we're going to look to make the switch to left hand is going to go to the loop, right hand is going to go to the hip, and I'm immediately going to look to come in the space. Uh, what I don't want to do is wear this elbow because this is going to come in and it's going to be long. So I'm immediately cut off that space with this elbow. Now I'm going to look to dive for an under, so I'm shooting from this hip to here, and I'm going to go over the bar. If I can hold it the wrist, that's cool. The elbow's going to be a little bit better for this. Notice my side, my lap, turn the gauge, so it's nice and tight on you. And I got this foot out for balance. If it's really tight here, it starts rolling over. You should put this out for counterbalance. Yeah, at this point, this leg, um, to use a baseball analogy, is going to baseball slide to home base. Over here. Then we're going to come forward get ourselves to the side. Okay, now Ochi's going to pass on Elias' guard. Now, Elias is going to chop in the guard, okay? The guard is basically his feet, his legs. And all I want you to do, this is a very broad task-based game, I just want you to try and get past his feet into side control or mount. Mount being where we were before. Side control is like the same thing, but we're on the side of him, okay? okay? So for example, this side control yeah. and that's all i'm trying to, i want you to get keep him on his back but get past his legs now i'm not going to teach you how to do it and i know you probably don't have any ideas how to do it but i want you to figure it out all i want you to do is try all right okay where and do i start do i start from here start from here and then all you're going to try and do is get past his legs okay. and he's going to go at a pace that allows you the ability to problem solve, but he's still going to give you some, some leeway, okay? And as you get better, he's gonna make it a little harder. But the most important thing is, I'm not saying nothing. This is to see how your brain works against someone that has been told exactly how to do it, practice it, okay? Awesome. That's mount. Nice. Come out here you get some more space. That was nice. Oh, good. 
Now we're going to put the brothers against each other. Ochi was training with me with task based games, and Yanni was working with Riley drilling techniques. Ochi has had no direct instruction of what he of what to do, and Yanni has. Now let's see what happens. So the goal in this game is you just trying to get past his guard into mount or side control. You know what side control is? We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> so mount would be what we worked on before. Side control would be the same thing. Just pass and control him here. We just want to pass the legs and stop them from rolling. Okay, your goal is just to not let him pass the legs. That's all you're going to try and do. Okay, touch hands and let's go. I'm still gonna see that again. Okay, good, good. Let's start again. Very good, very good. Close to this cut. Very normal, you know. I sound so good. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that quick knee cut. I just got hold of it. Okay, good. All right, pause. Very nice. Very nice. Switch over. Okay. So I'm, yeah, I'm not supposed to let him into you. Just don't let him, you can let him into you, just don't let him pass your guard. All you want to do is keep him off of mount and side control. Yeah. Does that make sense? Are you happy yeah. with it? Without oh. kicking, right? Without kicking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So three, two, one, go. Alright, that's a mount. Let's go again. Yeah, that's side control. Let's go again. So let's start again. Just block the punch. Stay on the back. Ready to do the mountain escape, weren't you? <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> one more, one more. Oh, one. Yeah. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we just saw the guard passing. What's your immediate thoughts of what you saw? For the guard passing in particular, I think the interesting thing is that when you teach a technique and it fails, there's no real backup. You haven't planned, like seen what position you're gonna end up in, you haven't seen other options. And at least in the immediate version of a games-based learning, 
I can see the value of somebody saying, I've seen this a couple of times. I've seen what can happen if a leg goes here or if I don't use my hands to push away. Um, definitely thought it was it was all about the knee cut and there was basically nothing else about fitting. Yeah, yeah, that's what I felt. I felt like he was going for that knee cut and it was very hard for him to deviate into a more of a problem solving mode compared to the other brother that was constantly in that where you could see he was trying many different things. So I feel like one of the one of the things that showed is like when you're learning through a d direct technique, drilling that, it becomes quite apparent that it's much harder to deviate from that. And if that's not working, you get kind of stuck there compared to the other brother seemed like he had a much easier time problem solving. And he's already more tired because we did 10 minutes of positional sparring beforehand. So it was interesting. And I think the results spoke a lot loudly, a lot more loudly then where I think we had four guard passes compared to one. Uh, I'm not against technique training. What I'm against is people learning techniques that they're not ready for. Now, I think that the the, the best thing I, that I get from the task-based games is I create an ex, like I give student experience through problem solving, and then when I tell them or show them the technique, they're already ready to do it straight away because it makes sense. Where if you feel like you have to drill a technique because you don't understand it, it's because your experience and awareness and skill in that area is not high enough. If it's high enough and I show you a, a technique and you already have experience in that area, it's very easy to absorb. You're like, oh shit, I see what that is. You get a light bulb moment. But if you're sitting there and you're like, uh, okay, show me that again. Okay, I'm gonna have to drill it. Then I feel like the problem isn't the fact that you haven't drilled enough. The problem is the fact that you haven't got enough experience in that area. So when you have, the techniques make sense straight away. And now I'm here with Elias. Elias is a top level black belt and he was helping me today with the task-based games. And was there anything that you observed that you wanna share? Yeah, I think um, I think the most surprising thing to me was just how little instruction we were giving them during the games. It was literally just get around my guard, however you can figure it out too. And while we were doing this, I was like, there were so many things popping up in my head I wanted to tell him, but I was like, I can't tell him, so just wait till he figures it out. And I was surprised at how quickly he was figuring it out. And another thing I noticed was during the game when the two brothers were going at it, it seemed like the one who was going with me had a better sense of what to do from open guard. I'm not sure if that's because he was feeling me play open guard and, you know, had some ideas of how to retain his guard better. Uh, but those were two of the things that stuck out other than what you guys already talked about. Which yeah. We, we talked about Riley. I mean, it just goes to show that how amazing humans really are when given the opportunity to problem solve themselves. But too often do we feel like as coaches, we have to give them all this information and helicopter parent them. And a lot of the time it hurts their progression because it stops them relying on themselves and using trial and error and, and gets them in this mode of just waiting for us to tell them the answers. We essentially become like the back of the math textbook. And then when it comes to test day and they don't have us, they struggle to be able to formulate their own uh, solutions to the problems. So yeah. I think it was, it was really interesting to do this because uh, it's really hard to find two people at a very similar level and do such a closed off experiment with this. But I feel like in my opinion, it showed just how good, you know, how well humans can develop when it comes to playing games. Where can people find you? Uh, they can find us on social media, Box with the Twins. We have Instagram, YouTube, Doc. Okay. And we'll put links below as well. Right. Yep. Well, thank you so much for today. I really hey, appreciate you guys you. made this so much thank fun. You. And more it was awesome. so much fun. And uh, if you're interested in getting my task-based games to rapidly improve your jiu-jitsu, then check out my website. Here you'll see plenty of testimonials and demonstration videos from the product itself. In this product, you'll get over 54 games, including control games, positional sparring games, positional sparring from stand-up, submissions, hyper-specific task-based games, and learning how to use them all. Don't forget the testimonials. I have over 1,000 students on this program right now, and the feedback has been phenomenal. Whether you're a student or a teacher, I guarantee you if you use my methods of learning, you are going to get far better results. If you're interested, click the link and check it all out.